Hello and welcome. I'm just responding to a, a viewer request, uh, really, in this one. In the previous video, I showed the Moon Rocket Lander game for the HP 97 calculator here. A little magnetic strip, two-sided magnetic strip here that holds the program. This also works for my other calculator I've got, which is the HP uh, 67 here. Also takes the uh, same cards there. The viewer asked if I could show more uh, programs, so I've we'll put away the Moon Rocket Lander here. I've got the standard pack here. This is, I think, came with the unit. Yeah, you can see the HP 67 and HP 97 there. And there's a bunch of uh, programs that come with the calculator. Uh, so you've got all sorts of different types of things like moving averages, tabulator, curve fitting, calendar functions, annuities and compound amounts. Follow me, I think is another game. Yes, it's another game. I haven't looked at that one yet. Uh, vector operations, looks like uh, triangle formulas and things there. We've got polynomial evaluations, 3x3 three three matrix operations, calculus and roots of uh, f to the x there. English conversions, pretty handy. Arithmetic teacher. It's almost sort of gamifying arithmetic for children. Diagnostic program there that's been copied. The original was sitting under there. And a cleaning abrasive card for cleaning recording head. Yeah, so today I thought I'd try a couple of programs just to give you a quick demonstration. Uh, the calendar functions is quite interesting. So I've got a backup of calendar functions here. And I can show you how to do a backup actually on, of these cards. I, I'll make another video on that, so keep an eye out for that. Uh, but just for instance, the calendar functions here. Let's load that one. Now on camera, uh, the digits look a little bit washed out compared to in real life viewing this with your own eyes. These red digits are very, very vivid. So it doesn't quite come across on, on camera, but um, it's it's pretty close, so yeah. So anyway, oh, I thought I'd I'll give you a side-on view here and show you the card going through the machine there. We're on there, it's ready to accept a card there. I'll feed the calendar functions in there. And yeah, from memory, that's a two-sided card. So I will feed that through. Side one. And the screen should be prompting for the card again. That's prompting for side two. You can see it just pops out the back there. And I'll feed side two in there. And now the program is loaded. I can slip the card into this little holder here, which is right above the A, B, C, D, E and F keys. Now, if we have a close look at the card itself, you'll see here, uh, so this DT1, that's date 1, uh, sits above the A key. Date 2 sits above the B key. Uh, delta days, so that gives you the amount of days between those two dates. Uh, sits above the C key, delta weeks dot days, sits above the D key is it? Yep. And DT to DOW is date to day of week. So you can figure out what day of the week any given date is. Okay, so slide that in there. And if you want to do something like figure out uh, I don't know how many days you've been alive for, or, you know, something like that. You can easily do it. I'm going to make up a date. Uh, I'm not going to put my real date of birth in here. Uh, so let's say that I was born on the uh, 15th. Now, if we have a close look here, though, 
before we go and put in the date. You can see the date format is uh, month, two month digits, uh, decimal, two day digits and four year digits. Now I'm not 100% sure if it's Y2K compatible. I've not actually worked it out. I just uh, rely on the uh, output of the uh, functions here, but it certainly does accept the uh, the date, you know, 2023, and it doesn't go into negative, so it doesn't think that it's 1923. So you know, it must be Y2K compatible to a certain extent. Okay, so let's start by putting in the first uh, date here. Let's say I was born in May. Let's say it was my birthday today. It is the uh, 3rd of May. So May uh, 05.03 and let's say I was born in, I don't know, 1951 and you hit A to input that and it's calculating the amount of days from a certain day. I can't remember exactly what day it is. Let's have a look in the manual. So that gives you a little bit of a rundown on the program there. It's based on the Julian day number. Okay, there's some of the equations there if you'd like to have a look at that. And remarks about the program. The listing is in the back of the book. You can download this book. I'll see if I can uh, find it and put a link in the description there. You know, so that's showing the amount of days from the Julian date, I guess it's called. Uh, and now we want to put in today's date, which is May the 3rd, 2023. And that's our second date. And it will just calculate the difference again uh, between the start of the Julian calendar, I guess and the date, and then if we hit delta days, it should calculate the difference between the two dates. So if I was born the uh, 3rd of May 1951, I have been alive for 26,298 days. Does that sound right? If we divide it by uh, 365 days, it should give us a rough 72 years old slightly more than 365 because you've got the leap years. I think actually 365, we go back, I think it's 365.25. Yeah, still 72 because I'm displaying uh, no decimal points here. So if I uh, display, say, five decimal points, it's actually bang on 72. Yeah, of course, because it's my birthday, right? Uh, hypothetically. Yeah, so delta weeks, uh, if I go back and I just go through, just reverse that. Okay, uh, delta weeks, 18,000, what? That doesn't sound right, does it? 184,000 weeks. If I'm 72, 72. 52 weeks, 3,744 weeks, not 18 or 184,000. Not sure if that's correct. I'm not sure if I'm using that correctly. Anyway, uh, if I go back to Delta Days again, uh, right, let's, let's have a look and see what day of the week I was born. If I was born at that date, 1951, day of the week, Is number two and if we have a look at the card here Sunday equals zero so Monday equals one Tuesday equals two I was born on a Tuesday hypothetically so you know pretty handy I mean before the days uh, of a computer sitting in front of you where you can just look at the calendar this is pretty handy okay so that's calendar functions uh, the conversions Conversions is pretty handy. 
Uh, now to clear a program and run another one, you can just head into the programming feature here. So that's program and across here is run. And we just clear the program with shift three there, clears the program. And then we're back to clean memory. I don't think you have to clear the program from the previous one. I think you can just run uh, the new program or load the new program. Now here we've got conversions, inches to millimeters, feet to meters, uh, gallons to liters. That is foot pound to newtons and pound to kg, would it be? Yeah. And the other side, I think is a separate program, uh, is Fahrenheit to degrees Celsius. BTU to joules, I think that is. Pounds per square inch to newton meters squared, is it? Pounds per foot cubed to kilograms per meter cubed. And HP to W, not quite sure what that is. I'm sure it's in the manual, but anyway. Let's do a Fahrenheit to con uh, Celsius conversion. Okay, so we'll load that there. Oops, doesn't like it. Let's try again. That got it. Okay, so if we input uh, degrees Fahrenheit, let's say it's 100 degrees Fahrenheit, and I hit the button that is associated with that conversion it is 37.78 degrees celsius and if you want to reverse the calculation so let's say we want to go from celsius to fahrenheit we hit the shift button and a again and we're back to 100 degrees fahrenheit so yeah pretty handy pretty handy yeah so there we have a couple of other cards so just quick demonstration on those ones I won't go into too much detail but yeah just a quick one there today and thank you very much uh, to my viewers and the people that comment sometimes if I can and someone makes a comment about hey you should make such and such a video and if I've got the gear to do it I'll certainly go ahead and do it uh, if I've got the time to uh, this is just a hobby channel for me so yeah that's that's it for this one as I said before, thanks very much for watching and keep an eye out for more videos. Catch you in the next one.